Improving your graphic design skill should be a constant goal. Every day we see technology changing, techniques and approaches keeps changing all the time. And it's very important to align yourself and level up your skills else you'll be left behind. Many designers seem to keep themselves in a stable phase, a phase I call your comfort zone. This phase is where you feel so satisfied with your current skill without any reluctance to move out from there. It's very dangerous to stick to a particular style without trying to improve that style. Maybe the style is a trending style but trend seems to come and go and at some point demand for that style will dry up and you'll be left with a portfolio that fails to show a wide enough variety of work to win other clients. So, how can you break out and improve your skills? Graphic design is more than just putting elements together and seeing how it looks like. And some designers don't even know this part of graphic design exists. And if you know them but you feel like your design style seems to be in a stagnant position, Please revisit the design theory. A deep understanding of the fundamentals of design, the principles and the elements of design is the first step to improving your graphic design skills. When I first learned the principles and elements of design, my design skills improved drastically and any day I feel like I'm missing out, I do revisit the principles and elements of design immediately. So to be specific, you have to understand grid theory color theory, typography, and the golden ratio, and generally the principles and elements of design. Feedback is very essential for a graphic designer, however, dealing with criticism is one of the most emotionally draining parts of the job. It's very easy to underestimate a client's feedback, especially with the feeling that the client doesn't know much about design, but don't forget that customers are always right. In fact, dealing with feedbacks is a skill that is just as important, perhaps even more important than your actual design skill. This is because it determines how long a project will take or if a client will come back to you. Listening to feedback can really improve your graphic design skill, especially if it's a constructive criticism. It can make you more sensitive to smaller details that you might initially overlook. It can grow in you the ability to see things from different viewpoints and interpretations. It doesn't apply to feedback from clients only, it may be from colleagues or a larger community on social media. By experimenting different design ideas and putting them into practice, you will find out what works best and what you are good at. It's an approach graphic designers should learn from to improve their graphic design skills in order not to get stuck in a particular style. Rather than always using the same fonts, colors, layouts, or softwares for every design, mix things up a bit and try something new. Throw in a crazy typeface, try 3D rather than 2D and use Photoshop instead of CorelDRAW. Just break the rules and see what happens. One of the milestone moments in the development of a designer's graphic design skill comes when they upgrade their softwares. The program you use to design can make a very big difference to your workflow and the possibilities you have. Every software, no matter how hard it is to use, has something that may open up new ideas to you. But ensure that you have a good laptop or desktop to run whatever program you want to. Next time you have a long journey, put your phone on silence and settle down with a good book on graphic design. It will certainly be a better use of your time than social media. There are a huge range of books on the topic of graphic design theory, skills and how to succeed in the industry. And this can provide inspiring insights not only into the theoretical aspects but from the real life experience of successful designers. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like to learn more about graphic design, click on this video and keep watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.